Billy. Thank you very much. We swapped Harmons. One Billy for a Claude. I'm, I'm the short one in between you two, that's for sure. And Henrik has stayed with us, of course. We've gone now from Onyx to Three Woods. Man, I gotta tell you, watching you hit the Three Wood this year, you're third in driving, a total driving, you're 66th in distance. You murdered that club, that Three Wood. Why do you hit it so well? You just well, that good? Thank you. Yeah, probably. <laughs> no, it's it's been it's kind of been a favorite club of mine for yeah. for for years and years. I, I used to have have one back in the old days that I used for twelve years, the same one. So it's it's always been one of my favorite clubs and kind of the fairway finder. And a lot of times on tour, I think after about two eighty, two ninety, a lot of the holes are shaping as well. So I'm I'm kind of a straight ball. I don't curve my shots very much. So if there's you know par fours. I feel like I need to thread the driver a lot of times, but with a three wood, I can kind of well, stand up and hit it straight. Why don't you go ahead and just show us your swing with the three wood, Henrik? I mean, certainly, you know, you you have. There have been times like all golfers where we struggle with the driver. So, taking a golf club that you have confidence yes, they had in. to mention that as well. No, 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 absolutely. I mean, that was that was that was one part of it as well. But even even before ups and downs, it's it's always been like my favorite club off off the tee. But uh, but certainly when I was when I was struggling with my driving, it's it's definitely easy to go to three you said the loft on that is right around 13 12 and a half yeah yeah so it's a it's a strong three wood so you're not giving up a lot of distance with no the strong, and and, and uh, i think if i uh, if i'm not misinformed as well the the trampoline effect on the three woods is is not uh, as regulated as on the drivers too so i mean you can get a hot a hot three wood that would make up even even more on the on the gap and yeah like i said i'll probably hit about 290 off the tee something like that it's not going to be on this swing though at seven in the morning. I've, st I've still got a few tournaments to play, so we better keep the keep the back in shape. So, so when you're trying to hit your 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 three wood, are you trying to take what the golf course gives you? Or are you hitting draws and fades? Or are you predominantly going with one shot that you're comfortable with? Uh, mainly one one shape, uh, and that's kind of if, if I'm swinging swinging okay. I have a lot of uh, not not much side spin to the shots, but if anything, a slight draw I would say, and, and that's kind of that's the shot to go to. And if I need to to draw it more, that that that's one thing I feel even easier with the three wood. So. And if you're going to try and draw it more for our viewers at home, what what do you try and do? Technically, to try and draw the golf ball a little bit more. Well, you could. Uh, I'd say you could. You could fiddle around a little bit, but one 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 thing would be to to move the ball up a little bit, so you're actually catching it and catching it, kind of just off the off to the. Uh, the lowest point here, so, you, so you're almost getting it on the up when, when the, or late, later on the arc, I should say. All right, so if you're going to try and, and, and get a little bit more draw and a little bit more distance, you're going to move that up a little, which is the opposite of what most of our, our students think. Most of our students, to try and draw it, they're trying to move the golf ball back in their stance, and it really doesn't help them. So moving it a little bit more forward is just going to help you. I, I hit it off the deck a lot of times, but I think for, for amateurs, it would, it would make sense to tee it up a little bit. You know, you don't need to start with the hardest thing, so you can you can tee it up a little bit, but just get it a little bit further up. So you're actually collecting it almost a little bit on the up there and, and later, which which is going to going to give you that. Last and that nice also draw. helps the golf club stay square or through impact a little bit longer. Yeah. All right, let's go ahead and yeah. get one. I think for the folks at home, 